In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the added features of Pro, and then I'm going to show you how to install it, and then look at some examples right in our WordPress site. This is the pricing page, currently having a sale. Uh, this particular sale will probably be gone by the time you're watching. However, they regularly run sales, so keep an eye out. We're going to go to the All Features page. And I'm not going to show you everything because there is just too much, but I'll look at some particularly important things. Um, basic adds things that the free version does not even have. So things like file uploads, conditional logic, repeater fields. So even the, the least expensive version is well worth it and adds a great deal of functionality. Spam protection is a huge deal. If you don't have spam protection, your forms are just going to get hammered, and that's no fun at all. Multi-page forms are a big deal. They make it so that if you have a very long form, you can do just a fragment of it on each page with next buttons and show a little progress bar that shows how far along you are. Those are really great. Once we get down here beyond basic, we end up with things like uh, surveys and polls, user tracking, forms date picker options, signatures, so people can sign things online, etc. And down here are the applications. So basic, again, down here comes with things like front-end editing. So if someone fills out a form and saves it, they could come back later and edit what they wrote, if you wish. Inline editing, CSV import and export. You can create WordPress posts, even with basic. That's a really big deal as well. When we get down here, we can do things like nested views, pay to post, and form templates. Uh, views are really great. They come with the plus version. Those are the things that allow you to present on the front end of the website the contents that were put into the form. For automation, you can have forms filled automatically, even on basic. If you want things like Zapier and uh, an API and action automation, you need the higher levels. The visual form styler is really great. You can dramatically change the way your forms look using a visual tool. So you don't have to be a CSS whiz to make the forms match the rest of your site. Same with layouts. And if you do know custom CSS and HTML, it's right here. Integrations, basic doesn't come with any. But if you need to integrate with something like MailChimp or Constant Contact or uh, translations plugins, Twilio does SMS, things like that, then those things are available as well. So let's take a look at how this is installed. There are two different ways. Connect an account is the easiest way. If you just click this button and log into the Formidable Forms website, then it will download all your appropriate software and get it all configured for you. I highly recommend this. I can't do it because I'm on a local development environment. You can see my URL right here is .local. That means that their server cannot contact my little web server here on my laptop. So I'm going to do it the other way. And that is to log into their website. And right here is a download option. And it just downloads a zip file, just like any other normal plugin. So we'll take that and we'll go to our website and we'll go to plugins, add new. And we'll upload. Then I'll click install now. And we'll activate. Now we have the plugin, but we need to put our license key in. So we're going to go to the licenses page, which is again right here in the settings. And there's that spot to connect our account that we saw before. But now we can click to enter a license key manually. I'll click Save License. And there we are. It says you're using Formidable Forms Premium. Enjoy. You can optionally disconnect this site if you want to not be connected anymore. And you can check now for recent upgrade or renewal. You don't have to come back here and click this. Um, it will use the normal WordPress plugins manager for detecting there is an update. And it will say there's a regular update and you update 
like normal. So now we'll go back to our forms and we'll, we'll look at connect or contact us. And you'll see that now all of these options are available. We have file upload, a date field, a scale, a slider, dynamic, a repeater, which is really useful. There's the page break, which lets you have multiple pages, password, summary, rich text, time, star rating, toggles for on and off, yes or no. You can look something up. There's a section. You can embed the form into, you can embed another form into this one. You can have tags and there's an address field, which asks for, um, well, here, I'll just show you. There, it just throws in all of the fields for an address all at once. And then there are pricing fields for product, total, and quantity. So in the in coming videos, we're going to use a lot of these. And I'll be able to show you how they look.